absolutism, King Louis, French Revolution, you might have heard these terms in your history lesson, but what happened during the French Revolution? This video will focus on the years 1791 to 1794. Enjoy watching. The French Revolution aimed ending the kingship of Louis XVI, who spent too much money on the American independence war. That's why France had a financial crisis. Furthermore, the third estate, so peasants and craftsmen, for example, had to pay more taxes and were less privileged than the clergy and the nobility. Thus, they wanted a change. One important event is the Tennis Code of on the 20th of June 1789, where the Third Estates were not to separate until the Kingdom's constitution is established. The rights of men and the citizen were declared on the 26th of August 1789 by the National Assembly. Actually, there are many other important events, but it would take too long to mention all. Okay, now we are in 1791. There were three main political tendencies. The Fillions, who supported the constitutional monarchy, wanted an end of the revolution on the basis of the 1791 constitution. The Girondins were mostly Republicans, but came in conflict with the most important group, the Jacobites, because they were more radical Republicans. Liberal reformers have been unsuccessful in stabilizing the changes. Three main factors are the reason. First, the conflict with the Catholic tradition. Second, the indecisive position of the king. And at last, the war against European monarchies. The clergy was expropriated and all members were forced to swear an oath to the new civil constitution. This decided the decree of the 23rd of November 1790. Pope Pius VI refused this decree. In his eyes this is absolutely nonsense. The clergy was in a dilemma, only half obeyed. This led to the foundation of counter-revolutionary and religiously motivated uprisings. Louis XVI rejected the new constitutional monarchy, so he planned to restore the old order in France. In June 1791 he tried to escape. Although he was disguised, he was recognized in Varennes and brought back to Paris, where he was officially proven as an enemy of the revolution. On the 20th of April 1792, the National Assembly, advised by the King, declared war on Austria to prevent a conspiracy of the European monarchies against the revolution. The Fillons hoped for stabilization of the new order. The Girondins, in contrast, who remained in the Jacobin club, considered a spread of the revolution in whole Europe. Louis XVI expected a defeat of the French troops and needed the help of the monarchs abroad to restore the old order. The Duke of Brunswick demanded the unconditional surrender of the French to subjugate to the king. What were the consequences? The Parisians arrested the royal family and the king was forbidden to rule. On the 10th of August 1792, the declaration of the Republic took place. The Parisian Commune and the National Assembly gained control of the revolution. In summer 1792, 
The revolution was threatened by counter-revolutionary uprisings inside the country, coalition wars and the king himself. From the 2nd to 5th of September 1792, masses killed inmates of the overcrowded Parisian prisons, so about 1000 to 1500 were killed because the masses were afraid of an uprise against the revolution started by the prisoners. The reign of terror describes the time between 1792 and 1794. The Girondins are the predominant power in the National Convention and influenced by the radical Jacobins who cooperated with the Parisian Commune. A new revolutionary group developed, the Sans Salots. Sans means without and salots are knee breeches, which are worn by the nobility. I'm sorry, my French is not the best, so I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry. They consisted of third estate people, shopkeepers and craftsmen, who rejected the monarchy and saw the middle class as their enemies. From September 1792 to July 1794, the Jacobins established a kind of military dictatorship according to the formula Virtue and Terror. This concept was developed by Maximilien de Robespierre. Virtue was an anti clerical and anti corruptible attitude, terror because of the persecution of the opponents of the revolution. The first important decision was the sentence of Louis XVI to death because of treason on the 20th of September 1792. He was executed on the 21st of January 1793 as a provocative signal to the monarchies. England, Spain, Holland and Portugal joined the coalition war which caused more setbacks for the French armies. The English naval blockade worsened France's economic situation and triggered a famine. Unemployment increased, wages decreased. The National Convention tried to recruit new soldiers, but counter-revolutionary uprisings spread more and more. These problems led to a threat to the revolution in spring 1793. Anger, suspicion and allegation against the opponents of the revolution increased. Now the policy of the National Convention focused on fighting against the internal and external enemies, but Prussian troops occupied Alsace in summer, England occupied Toulon and some other cities, for example Lyon, were ruled by royalists. The National Convention reorganized the army and introduced the mass conscription on the 23rd of August 1793. So everybody was involved in supporting the revolution and the rule of the National Convention was consolidated. At the beginning of 1794 the counter-revolutionary uprisings were ended. The revolutionary army became more and more successful. The reign of terror ended in 1794. 7,000 were sentenced to death. Only a very small number of them were enemies like royalists or aristocrats. Most just stood in the way or were victims of rumors. They also introduced a re revolutionary calendar. Instead of a seven-day week, now ten days were week to reduce the importance of Christianity and the revolutionary celebrations replaced Christian holidays and churches were closed. And of course, there was no king anymore. This was the explanation video about the French Revolution. I hope that I could help you and you understood everything. Thank you very much for watching.